sorry, could you say that again? <laughs> Actually, how many people have meetings with low expectations? Oh. Yeah. Uh, no. High expectations. High expectations. I knew you were doing it. This is the last thing I'm ever doing. <laughs> No, no, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun, and I'm sorry to interrupt a bit. So we know that you're going to carry the wine for us to take home and drink, but, like, is Ganga's going to carry it for us to cut out and have a meal? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be determined. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, on a Monday night, we'll fill up the restaurant, well, this afternoon, this one, yeah. Um, but, I mean, beyond the expectations, I mean, did you ever, th did you, do you drink wine with Indian food? I haven't had Shall not mention that again. Yeah. So I was going to say that that actually reminds me of a story. It's not really a story, but it does maybe speak to the the reach of Indian wine. That a few years ago, before I moved to Hong Kong, I was living in New York. I would take the train up to Westchester, where my apartment was. And I would get off the train and go to this Indian restaurant where I got to know the owner. I'd sit at the bar by myself, and I would always order a beer with my Indian food. And, and the guy finally came up to me and he said, he was this proud guy, that, that had, it's his family business. He had started the business 20 years ago, and he finally said, you know, I, I want you to try this Indian wine that I brought in. And from under the counter, he pulled up this bottle. And I had no idea. I wasn't 